Yo, ho, 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 it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Das Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. We're talking shade and sharp, y'all. Ho, 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 ho. Y'all boys thought I was done with the shade and sharp videos? You thought it was over? Nah, son. I'm bringing this player up again because we still have a bunch of fans that are complaining about our picks in the draft. A bunch of casual fans, casual fans that, you know, fair weather fans that aren't paying attention to the details, man. They're complaining about not getting a player like Shaden Sharp, although he wasn't even available at nine in the first place. So I wanted to make this video to let those casual fans know that even if he was available, he wasn't going to be on this team because he doesn't have the right attitude. Pathetic. And I know this theory is reinforced by what Brian Wright said in his latest interview about why we pick Sohan, why we pick Malachi, why we pick Blake Wesley. And it was the things he said that made me think back to Shaden Sharp. Like, yeah, there's no way in hell he's getting on this team or he was ever on our radar, man. And I gotta, you know, I gotta tip my hat to the Spurs because we haven't won in a while and you may compromise your morals, but not the San Antonio Spurs, baby. Because we want team first guys over here. We want team first guys. That's how you win it is done. Team first guys. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that bell for more videos. Thank you so much for the continued support. Okay, I get what you're saying and what you're thinking. Why, what is my obsession with Shaden Sharp? Why do I keep making videos about him even after the draft? It's because of the fan base one, but it's another reason is I really like this guy's skills. His skill set, his athleticism, you know, excuse me, I really think he was gonna be a star. He may still be a star. You know, he was the guy that I would want over anyone else in this draft until I heard him talk <laughs> when i heard him talk about his goals of being the rookie of the year and his goals of being an all-star and his goals of being the greatest player ever no mention of team no mention of being coachable no mention of learning nothing just me 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 and i was like oh hell no i am not falling for the okie doke man this joker is on some Kawhi Diva stuff before even Kawhi was a diva. You see what I'm saying? Like he he's fresh on it. So that's why I'm obsessed with this guy because he's a great talent. But man, that mindset is messed up. And I leave room to be wrong. I could completely be wrong. But going back to Brian Wright, Brian Wright emphasized something about this team and about our philosophy that I kind of have forgotten about, to be honest with you. You get so caught up in trying to get the best players, the best talent, you forget that the San Antonio Spurs stand for something when they're looking for players, when they sign free agents. We stand for something, something that started with probably D-Rob and then you trickle down to Tim Duncan and whatnot. And they still live by that and they're serious about that. So I want to play a little clip so you can get what I'm saying. Saying I don't want to play too much because YouTube has been tripping <laughs> with the with the claims and all this stuff so check this out that you want to take some swings gambling more on the ceiling than the, than the floor sure uh, absolutely but we don't want to gamble on the character and we don't want to uh, gamble on the things that we identified as important to our organization and how we grow and so with these three guys we don't think we did that at all we, we think we hit that part key word ladies and gentlemen key word or key phrase i should say we don't want to gamble okay and nothing about shade and sharp was ga gamble less gamble less is that a word gamble less you guys look that up for me gamble less <laughs> everything about shade and sharp was a gamble and the san antonio spurs aren't about to gamble on character so that tells me all i need to know about shade and sharp potentially being the spur to me I mean, he probably didn't have a zero chance of being the Spur because he's just that talented. But I think the chances were very low if the Spurs are serious about the character side of things. And if you look at the players we we have, Sohan, Malachi, and you know um, Blake, 
these are pretty good character guys and he goes on and on in that interview i encourage you to check that interview out on the official san antonio spurs page the entire interview and he goes into detail on how he found out whether these guys were good guys or not so again going back to the shade and sharp thing uh-uh wasn't gonna happen man so i feel kind of good you know the fact that i made those videos about him because <laughs> it looks like the spurs prior were thinking the same exact thing we don't gamble on character and he definitely was a gamble on character again going back to the things that are non-skill specific the intangibles the things that are important to team building and not only did we hear it when we called around and asked about them but we saw it firsthand in this building when they came in for their workout another key word intangibles okay does Shaden Sharp have intangibles? Is he going to get a, get along with the coaching staff? Is he going to be a teachable? Is he going to be humble? These are questions about this player. And too many questions leads me to believe he had no chance of being a San Antonio Spurs. Not seriously. At the end of the day, I am very happy at the job that Brian Wright did in this year's draft. He had balance. And that's all I can ask for as a Spurs fan. Have balance. You don't want to just get pure character guys that can't play, that can't hoop. But you want to get talent that's teachable, talent that's moldable, talent that's willing to learn. And they did that with these three guys, you know. So far, so good, man. So shout out to Brian Wright doing a hell of a good job. I want to make this video. It's a weird video, but I want to make it in, you know, because of the fan base and some people complaining. Hey, don't forget about the character. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Check out the other videos on the channel, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.